Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute. Okay, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about everything. Listen, I walked in my makeup room and I was like, does my microphone even work? Like, do the lights work? <laughs> I haven't been here in a minute. Couldn't even connect my phone to the, to the camera. <laughs> it's been a minute, okay. But also, I will like to say this, there haven't been a lot of exciting makeup launches, so that's part of the reason why I haven't been as motivated to film, because I'm like, what am I gonna film? <laughs> so the past month, there have been some pretty dope makeup drops. Um, uh, finally, a new powder. Like, I love my Fenty powder, I love my Morphe powder, but sometimes it's good to switch it up. So there's a new setting powder on the block I'm gonna share with you guys. A new palette, new mascara. There's a couple new things up in here that I'm excited about. So I'm gonna do my makeup in this video and we're just gonna talk like always. So I'm gonna talk, you know, might throw some shade. Hey. <laughs> no, we're gonna have some fun. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so pre-COVID makeup was popping. You guys, like I was really excited about makeup and all of a sudden COVID hit, everything came to a stop, you know, we all know what happened, okay? And I feel like with the lack of collaborations, the brands are just kind of going back to their old ways and they don't really know, you know? They don't know what colors work together. They don't They don't really know. So I feel like makeup's kind of boring right now because there aren't any collaborations, honey. Like, where are the collaborations? By the way, this is Lip Tinted Hue Guard. Not me squinting my eyes. I'm like, can you guys even see it? It's a sunscreen primer and moisturizer in one. You guys need to use sunscreen. Okay, so this is something that I see other people do. I never do it. Um, I don't know why I never did it before. I don't know. But there's a new setting powder on the block. Like I said, Makeup Forever Ultra HD setting powder. This is shade 3.0. And before I start my makeup, and I know everyone's, everyone does it. I know everyone does it, but I never used to do it, and it does make a difference. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder in areas where I get really shiny. Here's my tip. Do not, absolutely not, do not put them right here because they will make your smile lines stand out because it'll just make them look dry, I guess. So I'm just gonna put it kind of around my nose, really this area, this is where I get oily. And right here on the forehead, oh, oh my God, my forehead is like, you see that? It's about to start peeling. It is about to start peeling. So I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but your girl is an NW45, honey. She has a tan. This is gonna be my first time putting on foundation since I've gotten this tan. Um, so I don't even know what color I am, but I probably got up like three shades, okay? And I'm here for it. So I'm just putting a little bit of this Hue Stick from Live Tinted again. This is Rise. And I just put it right here because I have a little bit of darkness around my mouth. And then I'm gonna grab my concealer from NARS Hazelnut. I'm gonna blend this out. This kind of cancels out the darkness. So if you have darkness around your mouth or anywhere, try this. So you can even see how there's like dark there. Cancel, cancel, cancel. I can't even do it with my nose because my nose is like, I don't know, burnt. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I should probably do my eyes first because I want to do a bright color, <laughs> but I'm not going to. F it. This is Rich 29 Morphe Filter Effect Foundation. You guys know I love this foundation. Um, let's see if, if she works. Let me just put, this is how I test color. I'll just put it towards my jawline because my neck and my body is a lot darker than my face. And I'm gonna blend it out and just see how it blends. I know it kind of looks scary at first, but it might actually just blend in. Oh yeah, no, this is good. My little monitor here is, my monitor is fooling me. It's making me look a little bit more red. Oh yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this all over. Boom, boom, boom. And you could even use your sponge, but I just like using a brush to place the product and then blend it out with my sponge. And you want your body to match your face. So if your face is light, you're gonna have to go a little darker, okay? Bringing it back to the basics. You guys, my forehead is really about to peel. So I went to Leanne and Dawn's wedding in Hawaii, less than I did. Um, it was beautiful, like, that was my only my second time in Hawaii. Gorgeous. There's something about Hawaii, the sun there, Cause when I was in Hawaii, I was not that tan. I was like sitting there, I'm like, damn, I'm not getting tan, I'm not getting tan. And then the second day back from Hawaii, I was like, whoa, <laughs> it hit me like two days later. All right, another new product. This is from Patrick Star. This is medium dark three, which I think is darker than four. And I probably do need to actually go darker, but I only have three colors and they're all kind of light, but I do like the coverage and I like the applicator. See how it has like a little, angle. We're just gonna see how this does. If it looks crazy, then I'll just add a darker concealer, but I think it, we can make it work. Okay, so uh, 
well, I already kind of talked about the tea with the brands. I feel like they need, you know, like influencers and people who really understand makeup to collaborate with to put out really good product. Because a lot of the stuff I'm getting, I'm just like, Okay, this is the same HD powder I use as a primer, shade three. Um, okay, so just to vent a little bit, a lot of the products I've been getting, I feel like it just doesn't work for my skin tone, so I don't even show you guys, because I'm like, I'm not even gonna show you on stories, for what? You know, for what? <laughs> No, but it's just interesting to me. And again, this is me kind of just venting and just telling you guys how I feel. Um, you know, the whole Black Lives Matter happened. All the beauty brands were like, we're gonna do better. Internally, we're gonna do better, but we're also gonna put out products that black people can wear. <laughs> and I feel like that hasn't happened. This is the same powder, just 4.0. I'm just gonna use this to kind of set everywhere, like lightly set. And I'm not talking about all the brands, like of course, there are some brands that put out, you know, products, really put out products for everyone, but for the most part, most of, no, most of them, they're, they don't get it, you guys. They don't, they don't understand. We're gonna film the brows. A lot of like the highlighters, like I got a few highlighters recently and I was like, that's not it. I think it was, I think it was Laura Mercier and I was like, that's not it. Um, eyeshadow palettes are almost more like on the taupe end. It's just not giving what it needs to give. It's almost like a lot of these brands forgot that they need to do better. Okay, I filled in my brows with light brown KBD brow pomade. I love this. I've been using this for a while and then I did put concealer over the eye. So let's get into the palette. And yes, that was my little spiel about makeup brands, okay? They need to do better, period. <laughs> okay, so this is a brand new palette that I got from ColourPop. I love all the bright colors in the palette. I feel like a lot of the neutrals are a little too like beige for my skin tone. Um, or even, I feel like I can wear them on the lid but not the crease. Like there's like a few crease colors in here. So this is, it's a mood. Isn't that pretty? Like all of those metallic, like all this is, these are like lid colors, which I love this for the lid but it's almost like we needed another brown for the crease. I said this on Instagram too. I'll, and I added them so they know. But um, I think I'm gonna use these blues. You should have known I had a blue shirt on, honey. <laughs> okay, another palette that I got, but I'm probably not gonna use. Maybe I'll use one of the browns, is the Morphe 350 palette. You guys know, like, this is like my everyday. Not this, but the whole palette. This is like very, very me. So I just wanted to show you guys that because I thought it was worth it to even purchase, especially if you do makeup and you need these large palettes. So because It's A Mood doesn't have a lot of like transition colors for the crease, I'm gonna use this small color pop palette, which I really like, called Down To Earth, and it just has all the transition colors you need. So I'll just apply this in the crease. This is the lightest color from the palette. You guys know I like to kind of start light, build to a darker color. Uh, by the way, it's Virgo season, honey. My birthday's on the 14th. Just put it out there. Virgo season this month or this year is gonna be busy for me, okay? Just traveling, celebrating life, love, all that. I'm gonna add a little bit of this darker brown in the crease. Whenever I wear bright colors, I like my crease to be neutral. That way I, I don't look like a clown. <laughs> Not that you look like a clown when you wear bright colors, but I feel like it's just, like where am I going? With blue eyeshadow all the way up to my brows. And my eyes are big, so it's just, it's, it's a lot. You know, it's a lot. Okay, oh, you guys apology because I forgot to zoom in. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Okay, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put powder under the eyes. So this is one size medium dark six, um, Patrick Stars product. And I'm just gonna like, set under my eye. So I use a loose setting powder to kind of freeze the concealer. And then I add this to make it look kind of smooth. And this just helps it so it doesn't crease. Okay, I'm gonna use the eyeliner as a base because I don't even know if I have a blue eyeshadow base. I probably do it somewhere. But we're talking about new products, okay? So this is Becky G's line, Chess Leche, right? And the color is Royal. And I'm just gonna put this liner on my lid here kind of as a base, which I used to do all the time. And I'm just gonna kind of keep it close to the lash line and then use a neutral base to kind of blend it out. Okay, now, I don't even know what to do here. I'm gonna see the texture of this. I know this is gonna go on smooth, so I'm gonna put this all over the lid and then this kind of in the corner because I feel like with all that glitter, it might get all over my face. 
Like we don't know, so let's just be safe about it. Tap off the excess so it doesn't fall on your face. Ooh. See, I love this type of blue, like, ugh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna have to add like a little blue in the crease. Okay, so I'm gonna grab Makeup by Ariel's, I don't even know what this is, the number's off of it, but this little smaller brush, dip in this matte right here and put a little bit in the crease. Just cause I feel like I'm just looking at my eye, it just needs a little green, something in the crease. That's how you decide, like I'm just looking at it like, ooh, oh. And just kind of lightly press it. And I'm just blending this into the crease like so. Okay, this <laughs> went, <laughs> went a little overboard. This matte color, that matte teal, it's called Don't Deny is kind of giving me trouble. I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder here. Mm, yeah, I just feel like I probably could have done without that. It's okay, we're just gonna do that. Just to catch any fallout clean it up later. Like I'm kind of looking like, all right, let's move on. This is a point when I'm like, okay, do I take off my eyeshadow and start over? <laughs> okay, this is Melt Onyx. I'm gonna line my eyes and then blend out the liner a little bit with the black shadow, cause I feel like that's gonna be a vibe. And once we put lashes on, it's gonna be fine. I just think I also haven't worn color in a while. So I'm just like, you know, it's a lot, a lot of things happening. I'm tan, I'm wearing a bright color. The matte tried to play me, I didn't. Zoom in. I am a mess. Okay, so I'm gonna just go in with Makeup by Ariel's liner, the Morphe liner, and I'm gonna do like a little wing. Really what I'm gonna do is, I do this thing where I wing it out and then I just blend out the wing. So it's not a harsh line. And I just love how that looks. All right, now I'm gonna dip into a black eyeshadow and kind of press it just like that on top of the liner. I feel like it's the matte shadows from ColourPop are, are doing something funny. It's like they're not working. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe, wipe this off. I'm not even gonna lie, I feel like I'm like a little disappointed in how this crease blended out. Maybe it's just a monitor, maybe I'm tripping, but I feel like that blue just didn't blend the way <laughs> I wanted it to. So a lot of times I'll put powder right here, it kind of just also lifts the eye and it'll catch any fallout if there is fallout. Like should I just like start over again tomorrow? <laughs> but I think it's gonna work out, it's gonna work out. Good vibes. Okay, the lash. Huge difference. This is so extra Miami lash. So these are like the Miami, but they're a little bit longer. And I feel like when you have like a smoky eye like this or a bright color, this is the perfect lash. I love the Miami, like Miami flare, so extra Miami, regular Miami, that's, that's it, that's money right there, okay? So I'm just gonna put this on. Okay, let's talk about something else, okay? Other than me wanting to restart my makeup and me not liking what the makeup brands are doing. <laughs> let's talk about something different. So you guys, Destination Weddings, oh, I just love them because you meet people that you otherwise wouldn't have met. And even though a lot of Leanne's friends like we're all kind of in the same industry, like I hadn't met a lot of them and we came home with like more friends, you know? So it was cool, just good vibes. You, you know, you spend a week with people, you get to know them and it's just dope. Like, oh, I just live for a destination wedding. Like I'm over here like, dang, who's gonna get married next? Who's the next person to get married and who's gonna have a destination wedding? You know, that's how I feel. Saved by the lash. I feel a lot better, you guys. Um, once, <laughs> I had to catch my, <laughs> catch my, my breath. Um, once the lash dries, I'm gonna curl it. So they're gonna be a little bit more. This is Morphe Phenom Bronzer. I love this bronzer. And you guys know the drill, the three and an E jawline. Wow, this is crazy. So this bronzer used to be pretty dark on me, okay? Like, she is tan, I love it. I think this tan, and I'm going on a little birthday vacation. I feel like this tan is gonna last me until like December. I'm not even kidding, or November. All right, this isn't a new product, but, well, it's new. I think it came out this year, I love it. It's Riches by Beeb Muse by Genevieve. Oh, Genevieve, by Jamie Genevieve, my girl Jamie Genevieve, okay? This highlighter is so pretty. I'm just gonna put a little bit on just cause we have a lot of color on the face. And a lot of times when I have like a lot of color in my eyes, I don't like a lot going on. Like I don't wanna have a bright blush, highlighter, 
you know, the whole nine. Sometimes it's just a little too much. I'm gonna grab my finger and just put a little bit right there. That's all you need, okay? Okay, Victoria Beckham eyeliners are so good. I feel like I don't really, well, yeah, I don't feel like I don't really know if people are talking about it. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe people are talking about it and I just haven't seen, but I feel like this is one of those products that I haven't heard people mention, but it's such a good dark black. And you guys know I'm like so picky with my black liner because sometimes they show up kind of gray. Okay, I was so distracted and just irritated with that blue matte shadow that I forgot to put this like sparkly one on. Oh my God. So maybe I'll put that. <laughs> I was irritated, you guys. Okay. Um, the sparkly one under my eye just to see how, how it looks. Not me laughing at how irritated I was. Can you see it? Okay, so this sparkly color is almost showing up a little bit more matte and it has those like flecks of like reflex glitter, like a really jet milled, finely milled glitter. So I think if you were to put this on the eye over like a black shadow, it would look like a blackish, blackish blue kind of glitter. Oh my God, I was right. You can see there's like little flecks of glitter everywhere. I freaking knew it. I had a feeling that was gonna happen but it's all good. Okay, before I finish the eyes, cause we don't even have mascara on yet, okay? I'm gonna use Jaclyn Hill's Rouge Romance. This is the Coral Palette. Jaclyn really did her thing with this palette. Like the colors are so good. I can wear multiple in here, which is rare with the palette, the blush palette. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this. I'm just gonna do a little bit of blush and I chose Coral because my hair is lighter. So typically when my hair is kind of this warm brown, I always do a coral blush because I think it just complements the hair color so much. Okay, there's a new setting spray on the block. I think I've showed it to you guys before by Desi, by my homie, Desi, my girl, that's my girl. Okay, that's my girl. The best setting spray, period. Um, so I'm just gonna, ooh, see that continuous spray? Ooh, set my makeup, boom. She's even, no, no more blotchy spots like other setting powders do. <laughs> Not setting powder, setting sprays. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, when you'll get like one big blob of like water on the face. MAC Fix Plus. Okay, let me stop being shady. I love MAC Fix Plus, by the way. It just does, it's not an even spray and sometimes you get like, you know, it looks like a raindrop on your face. Okay, this is a step that I always do and I always recommend that people do when you wear lashes and you have, mm, I guess like a lot of space or maybe it's because I don't have a lot of top lash. I don't know, I just feel like my lashes need to be lifted so I always curl them after. So I haven't put mascara on yet. I'm just gonna curl my lash. Ooh, these bad boys are long. You sometimes you have to be a little, you know, it's like a puzzle sometimes. Just curl it. This is a Shiseido curler, by the way. So good. But look at that. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like a little bit more lifted. You guys, what should my next video be about? Like my next YouTube video since I'm back. Well, let me not commit to being back. I'm, I'm kind of back. I'm back when I want to be back. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let me stop. You know what I really enjoy filming? Amazon hauls. You know, because I buy everything off of Amazon. Everything. I love Target, but I just don't go. Um, this is Lancome Seals Booster Primer. And I always put mascara on my lashes. I feel like it just looks better when you put it on your real lash and the fake lash. Sometimes you just gotta kinda like rub it on there. It's me struggling with my makeup. For me, watch you guys are all gonna be like, you weren't struggling, it looks fine. Maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe it's because I didn't zoom in on the lens, honey. Like. <laughs> Okay, I love this lip liner from Buxom. It's called Creamy Chocolate. It is just the perfect shade and the little applicator, ooh, the little applicator is kind of at like an angle. I did a little video on this for Instagram, but I love this. You can even fill in your lips with it. Okay, let me line right here because I do not play games when it comes to lining. I round out the top of my lip too, like right here. Okay, now Dose of Colors has a new liquid lipstick called Knock on Wood. I absolutely love their liquid lipsticks. Like they're definitely one of my favorite. Blah, mm -hmm. just like this. And then I'm gonna finish off the smoky eye, <laughs> the blue smoky eye <laughs> with Moody. Should we do Moody or Sparkle? Okay, I changed my mind. This is Flashy from Dose of Colors. It's just like a clear gloss with shimmer, but it has like a gold shimmer. You guys are gonna like this, like ooh, ooh. Okay, the eyes, okay, I like it. I like her, I like her. We can work with this. 
that blue shadow tried to play me and ruin my life, but she came together. Ooh, this lip, I think because I didn't put a lot of lipstick on, is giving me like a little bit of a darker nude, darker than I typically go, but I'm kind of here for it, like... Ooh, I look kind of mysterious. Like, where am I going? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments, like always, what you guys want to see. Like, should we do another, should we attempt another makeup video? Do you guys want to know about my fitness journey? Like, do we need a fitness update? Tell me, do we need an Amazon haul? What do you guys think? So let me know in the comments. Thank you guys again. I missed you guys. And I was about to say, I'll see you guys next time, but that's not how we sign off, honey. That, that is not it. So last but not least, strut and slay. Well, another palette. Ooh! But the matte colors are a little problematic. Like they're giving Mean Girl vibes. Okay. Actually, should I? Should I? Should I? Wipe that off. <laughs> like what was that? <laughs> not Mean Girl. <laughs> Oh, 